Triple one and all. Yes, here we go. Uh, this will be my, and, and you can clap, you can get the party poppers out, you can celebrate, you can uh, just be really happy. This will be my last video on the tube now for, oh, I don't know, let's say three months maybe? Four months? I don't know. Um, hope to move out in about a month's time and then I'm going to have a change of format. When I come back in three or four months time, I'm going to do a different style of video. I'm going to change to doing Barbie dolls. <laughs> no, same again, obviously in a different place. And I will finally do a movie tour of my collection when that's all done up. But as I say, I'm going to be a bit busy. I will go online and I will still view all your videos. I'm just not going to do any videos myself for about four months. So don't unsub me. I will be back. I promise I'll be better, badder, stupider. More ridiculous than ever, and um, I will try not to do a video naked. <laughs> okay, right, so here we go. Mm, hobbits, this is part two the desolation of schmuckies. Um, and this is good. Now, are you one of them guys who are really disappointed with the, ho the, the first Hobbit film, The Unexpected Journey? Because I was. Um, I just didn't like it. I loved The Lord of the Rings and I expected more of the same. Um, yes, it is more childish and I had a problem with that and it's a kid's book. But it doesn't mean just because it's a kid's book that it can't be done in the same style as Lord of the Rings. You can change it. There are no rules that says it has to be completely identical, you know. Um, and they've done that with this film. They've improved on it and they've taken away a lot of the childishness from the first movie. And it's such a better film. The enemies are more grown up. The, the, the characters are better without these stupid jokes. There's less waste of time scenes like the, um, the, the party at the beginning before they set off on the journey. Just such a better film. And this lives up to being as good as the original three Lord of the Rings films, which are three of my all-time best ever movies. Love them! Uh, so this is the still book for it. Um, good, good story. Continuing on from the uh, end, obviously, of the first movie. And um, the journey to um, Schmaug and um, getting to that um, mine. I've forgotten the name of it. Erebor now. Uh, to remove the dragon and uh, reclaim the kingdom. Uh, lots more development in the characters. More of the dwarves involved this time. I'm really glad to see. Um, and also the welcome back of Legolas. Much mean, I have to say. He's, he's very mean in this film. And also um, his co-star, who's played by Evangela Lily, who... Name skips my head for the moment because I haven't seen this film since the cinema, but I'm sure I'll, uh, when I watch the film I'll know. And um, excellent, excellent stuff. And also the viewing of Lake Town, which I was really um, pleased to see, along with Stephen Fry. Who, who does this little comical act as the king of um, Lake Town. And um, much more intense, much better grown-ups, and also Mirkwood, which I'm sure in the extended edition, um, it got a lot more meaner. I mean, they couldn't find their way out. They were running out of food. I'm sure those sort of scenes will be um, in the extended edition where they were becoming more desperate and more agitated with one another, and it wasn't shown in this movie. Because obviously, it's a theatrical cut, it's a, a three hour long film and they can't put all these additions in it. But I'm sure knowing Peter Jackson, certain things will be added. Also, finally, the reveal of Sauron uh, comes back in what is this scene from the movie. Now, are you one of the ones who's a little disappointed that, not by the cover art, I think it's absolutely exceptional. Um, but the dragon was not in the front cover. Because the dragon isn't the full play main character of the third movie. Um, but he is in the second one and he's not there, he's not to be seen uh, we've just got Gandalf um, out, outside one of the minis where Sauron is and he's ready to fight that's oh, so another thing, are you getting a little pissed off with 3D? I mean is this 3D? fine have it on the stick, remember those blue banners along the top, they used to say Blu-ray when they got rid of them now, do the same with 3D remove, just have it on the top, on a banner, on a sticker and say 3D remove um, and just have the film itself. We know it's going to be on 3D if you're going to buy it on 3D. So remove. Apart from that, good stuff. Little stickers at the front of the year 12, so don't worry about that. Love the back artwork. There's the deeply scarred using magical illusion to uh, King of the Elves. Excellent character. Legolas and Evangelili. Great pose. I really hope they do a good sideshow figure of her 
uh, Sideshow Collectibles figure of her, because I'll be up for that. Instead, they brought out Sarah Man, which I'm going to have to buy instead. Not quite as keen on that one as some of the others. Great artwork, great background stuff. Looks awesome. Uh, open it up. It comes in four discs. You get two parts for the 3D, one part for the disc, one part for the special lectures, and you still get special features on the normal film disc as well. And it is uh, one of the clips from Mertwood with um, our friend Bilbo Baggins firing it off and finally getting to use his sting sword at long last for repercussions. Uh, great stuff, great special effects on the spiders again. Um, slightly smaller spiders than she Lob in Return of the King. But all the same, excellent stuff. And he's looking a little bit mean there, a little bit for once. He's like, I'm the hero, I'm the man. I've got my pants up, I've got my sword out, and I'm ready to fight. Oh yeah. And that, my friends, is what's on the go. So, you look at the screen. La la la. Uh, we've got our usual boring just clips of the movie. Um, so what we can do, the PQ will be as good as um, as you expect from the Lord of the Rings and the original one. And you expect from anyone with such a massive budget as this film. Cannot wait to the end of the year to see the final part on movie version. Uh, excellent. It's glad to see Bourne, the, the man who turned it into the bear. And he will make a welcome return in the third part as well, along with the um, Battle of the Five Armies. And you will get to see Aragorn. So welcome back to Aragorn. Whee! Best character for me in uh, The Lord of the Rings, along with Samwise Gamgee. Uh, so, th so this is great stuff. Um, we pop on a bit of sound. Yeah, a bit of volume. <laughs> Uh, also, I've got this little conundrum, can you help me? I'm very interested in buying a new TV when I move from my house, and I'm looking at the 65 inch ones, uh, real top of the range ones, but should I go for that, or should I just wait for the 4Ks to go down in price? I'm really up in angles about that, I might, I'm, I'm not sure, I might just wait, because the 4Ks will definitely drop down in price. Um, and, and I imagine the 65 inches will drop down in price. At the moment, the more affordable, ones are the 55 inches but then after that there's a big jump apart from a few models but the 65s are dropping anyway I don't want to talk about it here we go there we go um there is Legolas looking a little bit greyer I have to say and his eyes looking slightly different yes he's older but um he's meant to be younger but they made him look a bit older his blonde hair is slightly more of a grey blonde his eyes are less blue Oh, hang on a minute. Is that just me turning the uh, colours down on my TV? No, it's not, because it's on 100. Uh, <laughs> great scene, this one. Uh, they've come across the elves and Legolas for the first time. Oh, he, 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 Richard Armitage's character, um, he, I'm not so sure about him in this one. He was such a nice, great leader in the first one. In this one, he looks very much out for himself, doesn't he? He's, he's like, mm, I'm, I'm not so sure. You know, I want all this gold and everything. and. You know, the arm, the, the stone all for myself. It, it shows in this one. I'd be quite interested in how they're going to portray it in the next movie. Uh, will he come good or will he be this selfish leader character? He's got too much history to be a nasty bitch. So hopefully he'll, he'll live up to himself and he'll be a corker. And uh, everyone will get to love him and tickle his beard and give it a good comb over and maybe give him some highlights on his long ponytail, dreaded hair. Who knows? Uh, and, and here's the other camp one. With the absolutely awesome crown, I have to say, I love the design of the crown on the uh, the King of the Elves here, where it, rather than it going around the front, it just goes around the side and the back. And he's got a good history in his part in this film, is why he's so annoyed with the dwarves as well. You know, great stuff, great backstory for Langer Lily as well. And um, I'm not sure one of the one of the dwarves' names. I can't remember which one it is. Killing Billy, Willy, I don't know. But anyway, yeah, don't she look good? And uh, is she is she is she the mother of him, or is that the guilt? Oh, I don't know. I, I've got to catch up with all the film. Maybe you can give me some answers. Anyway, guys, um, that'll do for now. I, I bid you farewell, goodbye, and um, look forward to your comments. And um, I'll stay in touch by. Um, you know, viewing everybody else's videos and stuff like that and um, hopefully you'll get to um, not forget about me and see me in the future in the summertime. So until then, see ya, bye, cheers, good one.